Just do it. Just do it, bro. Let's do it. What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for tuning back to the channel. This week we are going into a topic that I really wanted to hit, especially because I am doing it currently. Something that is very overlooked and it shouldn't be because it's, it could be very detrimental to your progress. We will be talking about a deload. This past week, since today is Saturday, I actually had a deload week. Basically with a deload, it's not don't think of it as this. Don't use a deload week as a week that you can just kind of not really pay too much attention to it. Really take it seriously and actually do it as planned. You know, you don't want to go into the gym and be like, okay, this uh, normally I pick up, I'm just throwing it out there. Shoulder presses, I normally do 50, I'm just gonna do 40 because it's less weight. Don't think of it that way. Actually hit a number. You want to do 10% under your current weight that you're doing. You don't want to go too, too low and you don't want to do too, too little that your body doesn't feel that and does not recover adequately. Huge mistake that a lot of people do is that they typically end up doing way less weight than they're accustomed to and that is actually really, really bad. Your body will not be happy with it because you could potentially lose quite a bit of strength if you go too low. If you don't go low enough, your body will just not get enough rest. The point of a deload week is to get your rest for your body to catch up with your progress that you've made. Deload weeks are awesome. It should definitely be implemented in your workout plans. You wanna do a deload typically 10 to 12 weeks into your workouts and don't wanna go past 12 weeks because at that point it's, it's very much needed. Your body will really need it and you don't want to get to that point where you just strictly feel uh, super tired at the gym because it's a big hit to your ego. I know this firsthand, trying to push through, thinking, you know, I don't need this deload. We all need it. We're all humans. We all get tired. So you need it, just implement it, and I can guarantee you guys will be very happy with the progress that you will continue to make. Today would be my 12th uh, 12th week, so three months into my uh, actual workout routine, and I definitely felt it the week before. I know when I was actually doing my shoulder presses. Shoulder pressing for me has always been an issue. That's by far my weakest point, and I felt it for that, like hard. The weight's going up. <laughs> When I was pushing them up to my shoulder height, I honestly was like dying. That was the cue. Beyond those 12 weeks, there was no way. There was no way I could do this. I really needed this and that's what I ended up doing this past week. To sum that little tangent that I had, typically you don't want to go over 10 to 12 weeks without a deload and your weights should be decreased by 10%, alright? Keep that number. Don't just go in there and pick a weight. So. 10 to 12 weeks, no more than 12 weeks, deload, in effect, and do 10% under your current weight. I didn't mention this before, but you also want to go one to two less reps and one less complete set. So if you typically do, say for shoulder presses, I do four sets, six to eight. For deload week, I would go under 10% of my current weight, and I would actually do three sets, of typically four to five, keep it there. Depends on how you feel. Just think of that example and just apply it to the rest of your exercises. And that includes your isolation movements as well. Everything, in general, just implement those three things and that would give you a successful deload. Let's go ahead and hit the gym.
GoPro is good for like, like when you're moving, like doing fucking crazy shit. But the second picture.